Hey everyone, Norm from Norm Hamilton Photography here. Look, usually I make videos that are helping people with photography, so you're probably wondering why I'm doing one on baking garlic roasted radishes. Well, because I decided to try something different. The COVID-19 period has affected all of us. The isolation could be problematic, so I've chosen to use the time to learn some different things, and cooking is one of them. So, like Monty Python used to say, and now for something completely different. <laughs> Baking garlic roasted radishes. So the first thing we're going to do is trim the radishes. Uh, we're going to take the green tops off and the roots. Some of the health benefits of radishes include being a good source of vitamin C. Uh, they're also really helpful in supporting healthy skin and good, strong, sturdy blood vessels. And I will take them over to the kitchen faucet so that we can wash them thoroughly, getting rid of any dirt or residue that might be left on them. Now they're ready for seasoning. The recipe calls for a tablespoon of butter, but I don't have butter in the house, so I substituted virgin olive oil a lot more than what I actually needed. Then we're going to put in half a teaspoon of salt. And we'll follow that by about half a teaspoon or so of ground pepper. Mix it well to cover the radishes thoroughly with the oil and the seasoning. Then we're going to place this into a dish large enough to spread the radishes around so they cook evenly. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees, roast for 20 minutes, turning after 10 minutes. After that 20 minutes, we're going to take them out and we're going to add the garlic and dried herbs, whether it's parsley, chives, or dill, whichever you choose. I use dill in this case. I did use considerably more garlic than what the recipe calls for because, well, you know, garlic. <laughs> I love garlic. Then we're just going to mix it up and try and get the mixture coating over the radishes. I don't know if there's a technique to do this, so I just kind of spread it around as best I could. The flavor is going to permeate through the radishes anyway. And it's back into the 425 degree oven for another five minutes. And they're all done. You can see they're starting to brown a bit. They're soft, juicy, and flavorful. Let's put them into a dish where you'll be able to see them a little better. They're excellent to eat just as they are coming out of the oven. Or if you want, you can use a side of dressing for dipping or for drizzling over them. Mm -hmm. 
So a big thank you to On A Clear Day Farm Market, both for the recipe and the radishes.